Welcome back to Milan Recording Studios. My name is James Pavel Sharkras, and in today's video, as you can see, I'm at my marimba, which I haven't actually done any musical pieces on since I did the video quite some time ago about a comparison between a marimba and xylophone and glockenspiel and vibraphone, which actually did surprisingly well, and I'm very happy about that. But in today's video, I'm going to be playing some music on the marimba for once, and we're going to be seeing how it sounds. So the piece I'm going to be playing here is a old Bach chorale hymn titled Adorn Thyself, My Soul with Gladness. And it's a beautiful piece, but what's kind of interesting is that on the marimba, one person cannot play this in real time. And the reason for this is because of the left hand. Now the right hand for it, I think you could totally play by yourself with, um, you know, two mallets and one hand. I don't think you'd run into any real issues, you'd probably have to practice on that a bit, but you probably could do it. I don't think there's anything too crazy. There's an octave, but you could reach that just fine. But where it gets tricky is in the left hand, because for several parts in the piece, and one particular measure, there's a lot of tenths. And in one particular measure, there's an entire run of tenths that goes like this. Now the Musser M500 that I'm sitting here in front of, or standing here in front of, really has wide bars, and even on a marimba with narrower bars, like many of the other companies, I don't think you could actually be able to do that with two mallets in one hand. Maybe you could, but I don't think that you could actually reach a span of that wide with one hand. So I don't think that a single person can play this piece in real time on the marimba. Two people could but one person can't. So what I wanted to do here was play this piece in two tracks. First, play the right hand in one track, like this. Then play the left hand part as a second track, like this. So basically what you're going to be hearing there, what you're going to be seeing in the video is first I'm going to play a little bit of the first track by itself with the proper audio for it, just to give you guys an idea of what that sounds like by itself. Then I'm going to add in the second track and let you guys listen to it, and hopefully you guys enjoy hearing Bach on the marimba. But I think I'm also going to add in some other instruments as well. We'll see how it sounds when I put in the second track. I think it'll sound really nice, but I also think I should try in adding some other instruments, so we'll see how that goes. Now let's add the second track of the marimba. As you can see, here I am at the piano, and so the way this is going to work is I'm going to be listening back to the marimba tracks that I've already recorded, and I'm going to be listening to those on headphones. So all I'm going to be hearing on the headphones is the marimba, but what you're going to be hearing is the marimba and the piano. So that's going to be three tracks now, the two tracks on the marimba, as well as the piano track, and I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see how it sounds, and we'll see how it goes from here.
thought that that sounded pretty dang cool, but one thing that you might have heard there is that the marimba and the piano are actually tuned slightly differently. I, forgot, I actually forgot to mention that earlier. I probably should have said that earlier, but the marimba is tuned to 442 and the piano is tuned to 440. Now, I totally could have tuned the piano up to 442, but what that would mean is that every time I wanted to play the piano with something that's in 440, like literally, well, actually not quite literally, but almost everything else in the recording studio, I would have had to tune it back to 440. Then if I wanted to play it with a remember, I'd tune it back up to 442, go back and forth, and eventually that would cause wear and tear on the pin block. And perhaps 20 years from now, the pin block wouldn't be very good anymore. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try using the piano at 440, but what I'm gonna do is also add in the roads for two reasons. One, that'll add in some more things in 440 and kind of help balance it out, kind of take away some of the attention from the, from the marimba and just kind of try to balance out all of it out. And also it'll add in a whole bunch of treble sparkle because the range of the piano I played in and the range of the marimba that I played in didn't have a lot of treble, so there wasn't a lot of sparkle. Though both of these instruments have sparkle, but not in that range. So I'm gonna play the same thing, but an octave higher on the roads, try to balance out the kind of the, the little uh, mismatch of frequencies there, and also add in some treble sparkle. Let's see how it sounds, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So hopefully you guys liked the sound of the roads there in the recording. I think that it really, really worked for everything that I wanted it to. It really added in some treble sparkle, and I also think that it helped to balance out the sound, because part of what the roads is, is first of all, I had the vibrato on, and so basically, as you can hear, it's kind of moving the sound around and it's kind of giving it a little bit of sort of like a chorus effect, which the piano and the marimba naturally had together since they were at slightly different pitches. So having the, vib the vibrato on really helps that as well. And also just adding in something else on the piano side kind of helped to balance out a little bit of an imbalance there between the piano and the marimba. And it really, really worked out well as far as the pitches are concerned. And as far as the role that everything had, the marimba was kind of like the foundation in this particular recording. The piano helped to add in some warmth some fatness to the tone and also some sustain. And then as I said earlier, the Rhodes was adding in the treble sparkle. If you're curious, I had the treble knob all the way maxed out on here, which I said in another video hurts my ears. And in that video, I had it turned up a bit louder, so it did hurt my ears. But in this case, I think it sounded really, really good because I really wanted all of that treble sparkle that I could get out of the Rhodes and it really, really delivered and it sounded awesome. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, keyboards, organs, all kinds of neat keyboard instruments, including a video, like I said, about the marimba, where I compared it against other similar but different instruments. If you haven't seen that already, you might want to go check it out. It's kind of cool. And if you do, thank you very much. If you want to subscribe, make sure to do that. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell. And if you do all that, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.